So if you want to go Netflix and chill, hey, let it be Netflix and chill. Here are my tips for whining and dining. So what does an, uh, an ideal romantic night look like to you? Um, I think for me, it's just honestly, I think just being yourself. Uh, and I think if you're a little bit on edge and you want to loosen up a little bit, this is where the wine comes in handy. Uh, you want to probably take a, you know, a few sips uh, of wine, 81 that is, um, just to kind of calm the nerves a little bit. Uh, but you don't want to overindulge, but you don't want to get into a situation where it feels like a, uh, an interview process. So first and foremost, Look at it as you're trying to establish a friendship more than establishing a relationship. I think the best thing to do is kind of ask what their, you know, what their taste in movies are and then just, uh, you know, uh, provide accordingly. And then, of course, you got to have, you know, maybe some wine and popcorn. So, you know, everybody knows me uh, when I'm on the football field. That was kind of like my, my theme, my mantra of like, you know, get your popcorn ready. And I say that because I consider myself, I consider myself an entertainer. So the same thing when you're dating, uh, you're not putting on too much of a show, but you want to kind of just ease into it and just have a nice chill night. So if you want to go Netflix and chill, hey, let it be Netflix and chill. And so there's nothing wrong with a little wine and popcorn, kind of like, like that sweet and savory taste. Which famous ladies would you like to wine and dine? Ooh, wow, my, oh, 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 some famous ladies that would probably like to wine and dine. I think uh, on my list uh, right now, I would say Olivia Munn. Um, she's very, very hot. She's very, very sexy. Uh, uh, you think about Sanaa Lathan. Uh, she's beautiful. Uh, I love her career. I love watching her uh, perform. Um, I watched a number of her movies. Those are my, those are my favorites so far. I did check out an interview you did a couple years back on The Real, and you talked about Khloe Kardashian being your crush. Oh Who is your celebrity crush? Oh Who are you boy. crushing on? Oh my goodness, I might have a few. Oh boy, it's oh the tea. I'll give you two. Uh, I say Khloe Kardashian. Is she still included in the list of crushes? You know, it's uh, it's a crush. You know, uh, literally and figuratively, she's dating someone right now. So it's kind of hard to really have a crush on somebody that's already somebody's already crushing. Are you seeing anyone right now? Are you in a relationship? I think you know, in a black community, when you say dating, or it depends on who you're dating. That could mean a number, uh, two different things. Dating could mean you're dating exclusively. Or dating could mean, okay, I'm dating someone, you know, this week. I'm, I may basically dating a number of people until you find somebody that you feel like uh, you click with. There's chemistry. So right now, I'm not in an exclusive category. I am dating uh, where I'm, you know, possibly dating, you know, one or two or three people here and there until I find that chemistry or vibe with that individual. And if uh, if they're on the same page, then we talk about possibly moving forward to maybe something uh, a little bit more serious. But uh, yeah, I've, I've dated someone here, uh, I think within the last probably like four or five months. Um, again, she's dating other people, I'm dating other people. Um, and I think when you have that healthy dialogue in the beginning, I think it kind of eliminates a lot of the confusion, um, a lot of misinterpretation or miscommunication. So um, right now, like I said, the one that I'm dating, yeah, I would definitely like to see, uh, spend more time with that person. But until we both get there and on the same page, um, we're just enjoying life.